This is Webigail on the web with your nutrition news flash on water. I realize that I've been behind, so I'm putting up three videos to make up for that fact. Today's topic is going to be on body water, functions, reasons, dehydration issues. Okay, we're just going to jump right in. There's a lot to talk about, so make sure you check the blog also because there's going to be a lot of information on there. Water accounts for 60 to 70 percent of your total body weight for an average adult. For really physically active adults, athletes, your body fat percentage is going to be lower than normal, um, which means your fluids are going to be higher. Uh, muscle mass means water. Um, adipose tissue fat cells don't contain water. So keeping that in mind, you, you especially need to make sure that you stay hydrated during um, sporting events and things like that. Water loss accelerates during exercise. The ability to lose the heat generated during exercise depends primarily on the formation and evaporation of sweat. The evaporation is what cools you off. It's not that you're getting rid of water, it's that it's evaporating off of your body. Uh, fun side note, athletes commonly lose between 1-6% to of their body water during intense prolonged exercise. A water loss of 9-12% to can be fatal. If you lose 9-12% to to of your total body water weight, you could die. So we're, I mean, it's really, really important to make sure that you stay well hydrated. So first we're going to talk about functions. Um, I'm just going to read this straight out of the book so I don't botch up any of the words. This is from my Krauss's Food and Nutrition Therapy book. Um, okay, quote, Water is an essential component of all body tissues as it makes many solutes available for cell function and it is the medium needed for all reactions. It also participates as a substrate in metabolic reactions and as a structural component providing form to cells. Whoa, you have lots of cells, so no wonder water is so important. Just off my notes here, water provides, as I said before, um, the medium or the tool in which most chemical reactions occur. Water helps maintain blood pressure during exercise. It has a role in energy transformation, which I kind of just touched on a second ago. Um, it helps in temperature regula regulation, and that's not just in sweating. Um, and it, it's a vital role in exc excretion of wastes through fecal matter and urine done by the kidneys. Water is essential for physiological process of digestion, absorption, and excretion. It plays a key role in the structure and function of the circulatory system, like I said with the blood pressure, and acts as a transport medium for nutrients in all body substances. And by nutrients, we're talking like water-soluble vitamins. Um, a male needs between 15 to 16 cups, you know, and by a cup we mean 8 fluid ounces, of liquid in a day, and females need about 11. You know, we say 15 to 16, but we mean total fluid. So even through the foods that you're eating, I'm going to have a list in the blog of um, common foods that contain a lot of water. So if you want to check those, then that's basically your fruits and vegetables. So if you want that in other terms, um, the average male needs about 3.7 liters or 125 ounces, and the average female needs 2.7 liters or 91 ounces, and that's your total amount, including food and drink. What you intake, your, your daily fluids, 75% um, about is through what you drink, and that can include your tap or bottled water. I always recommend reusable bottles, even if they're not BPA-free. Um, Non-alcoholic beverages like fruit juices, vegetable juices, milks, brothy soups, I recommend keeping low on the sodium. People who are used to taking in caffeine, like sodas, coffees, teas, it's it's good to get to keep doing that if you like, just to make sure that you get your fluids. And they are diuretics. It's better that they drink coffees and teas than not get anything at all. That's all I have for today, but make sure to check back later. Our next discussion is going to be on fiber, so check back soon. Hi, this is Webigail on the web for your knee... <sighs> Our um, next talk is going to be on fiber. Yay!